Ich gehöre längst nicht mehr zur Welt der Sterblichen. Ich fürchte hier nichts von niemand. Willst du wissen, wer ich bin? Ich bin Vegeta! Hello guys, it's Shockwave King, and we are back here once again. And yes, shout out to the video, How did he pull? Chapter 1326 came out, I believe, yesterday. Yeah, it just came out yesterday. And I, I, I saw a few of these spoilers, and uh, <laughs> this could be interesting. This could be interesting. Of course, I have to download the images, but uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out, to be honest. I, I really don't. Hajime Ippo, the the fighting, uh, the, the fighting. Oh my God, I'm choking up. Could this be the key to slaying the dragon? This dirt says that Mahjong <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, meaning the king of Mahjong, games of change. Round 1336, the king of the underworld, the Manhattan Demon, the the the, 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 the Manhattan Underground Beast, Keith Dragon, and you have Ippo here holding the Mahjong piece. I don't know what exactly going on, but I got like a, a, a basic idea before we get to this. 25 fights, 24 wins, 21 by knockout, and just one draw. He's undefeated. Those numbers aren't, aren't those aren't numbers you get by being lucky. As Epo sit here at one po, still watching the uh, the so so there's a friend. He is watching the fight footage. There must be something that, about him that's a weakness. Maybe I'm overlooking something. I have to find something. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> uh, that's that's nasty. He got hit through his guard. That's that's sad. And it seems like the guy was also using the Philly shell as Keith Dragon punches this poor man's face in. But it gets better. Blah! Look at that right here. Look at the twist of his neck. That he dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And he was like, wow, what terrifying, right? <laughs> Even if it was just an empty swing, seeing that, seeing that thing pass by your face make your spine freeze and Epo squeeze. He's this poor animal. So, so I was right, it, it, it does seem like Keith Dragon is the one-two machine. Just, he shuts you up for a jab. Epo's like, right after his love come, after the love will come to the right, he's swinging. Oh my God! This is, he's a what? What? This right hand makes no sense. I thought that he did in the heavy bag, which, which was gruesome. But seeing him in the actual ring, he's murdering these poor men. Even though it was a huge swing, it hit clearly. How is he so accurate? How is he so accurate, evil ass? How is he so accurate? Is this a classic one-two? Pretty much. So far, there's not nothing to it. It doesn't look like he's just lucky. He must have some type of incredible sense of timing. Or is there something else? Blah! I said, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, no, no. Was, was, was that a cross cannon? I think he's yeah, just hit him with a cross cannon. And his cover, and his cover five when his left is amazing too. It's just like, why, why does he keep, it's it, it just, like, these are some of the most gruesome and relentless punches you've ever seen in the entire series. Because this man looks <laughs> deformed and mangled and potentially just went into a coma and put to sleep for good. And we post traumatized. I know it's obvious, but having such a good left sets up the right to land perfectly. It's no matter how much, no matter, it's not a, it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's not just a matter of luck, he's really incredible. Of course he's strong, of course Epo. And Epo falls over with his dog, that's why he's a world champion. Well, that's why he's the world champion. But I remember Epo, he's one of those four. That's a potentially, it, it depends what the find undisputed, because you know in recent years you gotta add the WBO, but since it's still like, I believe it still take place in the 90s, or the latest 90s, I believe he's still three. I believe so. I can't confirm that. We cut over to a gym, and to the core gamma gym. Accompanying him, <laughs> Yagi said, <laughs> Yagi Chen has to go to Shibuya uh, after this. Of course, I can go with him. I'm not the kind of man to play games for a match. It's unthinkable, childish, and irresponsible. But I guess we're gonna take no for answer. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess. What? So we're not <laughs> so we're not going shopping? It's my junk. My junk. My god, it's my junk. 
and y'all just like that was his condition for coming to Japan after all. And he was like, he really got them with spare time. I should have sworn this fight was right around the corner. It was right around the corner. But it wasn't. Yagi continues. The people who saw his practice said he's in tip top shape. In fact, it looked like he might have leveled up since we since he got here. Really? Really? Even though he's already so strong before, he's gotten even stronger. That's Yagi continues. He cuts it. I don't plan on <laughs> I'm not planning on letting him step into the ring feeling good. Oh my god. No, Yagi, no. You're already the fishing champion. No, Yagi, no. I mean, coach, like, I, I, I never dream of it. We have been visited by the blessed players of Shibuya of Manga and Palace. The strongest and pro-lasting, uh, uh, the strongest and longest reigning champion. That's incredible. That, that's, that's incredible. No matter how much luck he got, he, he was like, wait, well, John takes four people, right? Then who's the last person going to be? <laughs> there was a man who's now for for going 20 years without a single law in all in Kana, uh, Katu. He was so strong that he was banned from all of my young palace around. A man who plunged into his darkness, who <laughs> who banished to luck in the shadows of the grand stages, but he still reigned as the king of the underworld. That's who rescinded the king. He was like the king, the king of the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Yagi! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at Yagi, my god! He's like, it's been a long time since my blood has boiled like this. Oh my god. Like, seriously, when they, we've gotten a full backstory on Takamura. We've gotten a full backstory on Shinoda and Koagama. We need a full backstory on Yagi. Why is he such a beast? What is wrong? That's, that's the next backstory I want to see. Forget everything else. What is the full backstory between Yagi? Because this man is a fishing champion. He has like a two dot, it's two sided. Like, how can you be a dark king, a beast in fishing, and not so my junk? Just look at his face. Wait, what? It's been a long time since my blood has boiled. Like, like seriously, like, who is Yagi? For 20 damn years, he was champion. <laughs> he was banned from all the Manjong parlors around. And, and look at that fucking slither. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, this this stuff is too good. This this is this is too too good. We need a full backstory on Yagi because there, there's something up with this man. He's not a normal human being. But he's just like. Whoosh. He missing that throws off his clothes, tug, tug. He he, he done hooked himself up with a top tier suit and tie. <laughs> and he feels like why why, why the funeral suit? And yeah, just like because I might be sending somebody to the early grave. <laughs> I was not ready. I just had the right to wear these clothes. <laughs> My God, this man is no longer human. Like seriously, who is Yagi? The most undercover savage, the most undercover beast of Hajime Ipo. We, we th my God, we thought Yoyoki and Kimura had potential on the Koragama team. Yagi has always been like a different type of animal. Like seriously, how do you keep up with Takamura doing fishing when Takamura don't jump into the goddamn pond? And Yagi's walks outside with these excellent leaves outside. Well then, shall we? Oh my god, Yagi has went through his full transformation. He has turned into the Maojong demon. He has turned into a different type of beast entirely. He is he gonna be sending somebody to an early grave. Who who like like who is this man? The last time I heard those words, the last time I heard those words, Mishibu was planning on sending someone more to the grave. And technically when it refers to his career, he technically did, unofficially. He wasn't responsible for the car accident, but uh, you never know. <laughs> the king of the underworld, as it's a guy called Ayoki Ikimoi. I don't know, I, don't, I think it's a, it's a guy called he yells it from the top of the gym. My God. and of course they sent Epo out on this, on such a mission. Of course, Yami means darker, and uh, Yagi, Yami means darkness or underwear in this in this contest to think that yagi was a mahjong player and the king of the other world and also as a ledge because some people on that reddit 
I, I, I stay away from her a lot of time. I peep back in. Like, like, for like weeks ago, I thought, oh, it's gonna be a Yoki B, the Mahjong King. No, it is Yagi. And the king of the world, underworld at that. Literally, every Mahjong parlor in the city has a no Yagi signs already. No Yagi signs a loud poster at its door. It's just like with the fishing. And it's a Yagi chip chip. Apparently, they don't even call him Yagi son. They call him Yagi son around here. Oh my god. Darkness or underworld? What's wrong with this man? Kimura continues. It's, it's not. It's not that hard to believe. Outside of boxing, the guy's super S class um, at almost anything. Ayoki chips in. I'll bet he haven't gotten one bit of rest after all this time. Of course, of course. Cause they said he was banned from all the major stages. They never did say about the underground arena, <laughs> where only true monsters lies. Where the Matt Hatton Demon King bring forth his present into the Japanese underground scene. There might be different nations. There might be different nations across different oceans, but one thing is clear. All the underworlds have the way to connect to each other. They're all connected to the same thing. And as the demon, one key demon king arrives, one retired demon king come out of the shadows to restake his claim as king. But get back to the chat. But this guy's like, but why did he bring Simpa along with him? I don't sure who's saying it, but apparently he's so good that he's been accused of cheating in a fight with Breakout. He posts his bodyguard, my guy. Are you serious? Is that bad? Is that bad? Like, what type of monster is this? We need a full backstory on Yagi. This is ridiculous. So it cuts over to a place. And I believe uh, it's, it's a, yeah, I think it is an elevator. No, 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 it's not an elevator. It's just outside the building. It shows what type of businesses there are here. And now uh, you got Ryan, some more Japanese things. Card sound, SCP, and SCP crafting, and some other thing. And Yagi's like, we're here. Manjan ought to go. This owner of this place, <laughs> the owner of this place is somebody I used to look after. Oh dear, just coming back here. I can't help the super I get swept up in the nostalgia. Ding. Oh my god. Yagi knocked on the door because he got all the connection. You there? And the dude pops out. A dude from the underwear looking like he's from the other world pops out. We've been expecting you. My god, they call him Yami? Maybe he, he has connections with Blackbeard. And he was like, why? And Yagi's like, hey, don't act like a thug. It's not like that. <laughs> I brought a young lady with me. Come on. <laughs> Uh, and he was like, Yami-san, thanks to the word of Yami-san, I'm proud to be the owner of our business, my John Pale. It's all above the board, too. <laughs> Epo thinks to himself, this is a my John Pale, huh? This is my first time seeing one. All these board tape, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Before we get to that, I thought it would be all uh, dark and seedy with clouds and smokes everywhere. Of course you thought that. But is this a brighter and cleaner than I expected? <laughs> Those two have been waiting for you. Your two was from long ago. What? The man with the longest winning record. Mu uh, Murakami. Murakami. And just look, look at this. Look. Yes, we get some new new character design artwork. This man has had eyes and eyebrows we've yet to see. We look like he's more based off of a real person than anything else. We had the other guy with shaggy hair like Kimura and the current strongest pro in the pro or pros. Is that just Oi? He's just O and I. It's just Oi. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Yeah. But Yagi's two. What? Like, we need a full backstory on this man. His two pupils. Oh my god. It's been a long time. I never thought I'd get a chance to play it. Yami san again, my god. Totally different from how we were back then. So just so that you know. I'm sorry to call <laughs> Yagi's like I'm sorry to call both of you out here like this. But Jin Tanaka Chan. Nepo thinks to himself, my jump pros are even well, even have their own uniforms. This is different than I expected. If you really like watching sports, I'm excited. Yagi continues. I'm sure you heard the situation already. Don't hold back today. No. 
in fact, go even harder than usual. It, 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 the disciple is like, as you wish, as you wish. What's up with these characters being undercover, dark? It, it, I'm telling you, we need that full Yagi backstory. And he puts like the strongest and the best and the top of the top, the king in the other world. Then the Manhattan Demon King arrives. Look at that pompadour, my God. Look at that jumpsuit. Look at that, my God. This is, this is too much. I can't take it. And keep dragging like, oh, it's a nice shot. He feels like Manhattan Demon King. <laughs> and the door, the guy, and the guy at the door is just like, I hand the translations. What? And Keith Dragon takes off his glass. He takes off the shades. Look like we already got all four. <laughs> my God, what? The <laughs> what? Is Yagi that short? My God, Keith Dragon's like, shall we begin? And he tired of over these little Jimmy's like their children. My God, this is. I'm getting flashbacks of Baki. This, this, Keith Dragon is a damn giant. And like always, like. I see, I see. He's certainly an intim intimidating figure, but I'm used to having big guys as my teammates. And the other guy who, who name I can't remember. You're in trouble, you think my agenda box in the same buddy. Let us show you the difference between Japan and American levels. <laughs> we gotta set some competition. The kings in the underworld must do battle to the death. And the, and the door guy's like, match starts. Now I don't know who says thank you very much, but someone says thank you very much. Oh my god, and he got Keith. Idea first A. What should I throw away? As Yagi's two people think. This foreigner wasn't even on our radius in the first place. We came back here to pay back <laughs> yeah, Yami's son for being there so badly when he was younger. And Keith Jack's like, hmm. And the two people's like, just go already, let's do this. Tap. <laughs> Fall like dominoes. Sorry, it looks like I win. What the f what in the world? I mean, when I was starting when I was downloading the pages, how did he already win? It doesn't make any sense. Everybody's like, What the heavenly cannon right off the bat? What would <laughs> Yami Sun do? Find that next week. What the hell is this? Like, that he just fucking sat down in the chair. How is this even possible? My god. And they was like, go already, go already. You just lost just like that. Now I know nothing about Mao Jong. I don't, but this is this is ridiculous. And he's just like now like there's a good thing with this whole thing. Keith Dragon might have won the first match. But it seems like Yagi is unfazed. He's not even sweating. He's just it's like this is a, now, now we could still have some hope. Yagi could still be the answer. It seems like we have some hope here. Not all is lost. Maybe not all is lost. We got the two people sweating bullets, but the but the but the Japanese un the, the, the Japanese underworld king is not even phased. He's wait, he's not even concerned. He's just like, oh, he 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 won it right off the back. All right. Now we got some translation notes. Dragon's hand here is, se is seven pairs. A winning hand in Japanese mahjong. He's also won as a dealer and without without discarding any towers, making it. A Teho heavily hand, the same as his Sunday punch. See chapter 13. Uh, I, I, I know more about the heavily punch, but this is. Woo! That's. That's, uh. Well, well there's not much to talk about afterwards. It's just, uh, some more stereo development. To find that, that Yagi is, is, a, is a beast in his own right. Like, you, you expect this man would stop. How is he this much of a monster? How is he the fishing king? How is he the mahjong king? Another clue cool in the fact, like, does, 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 does Nami son always have a bodyguard? Or just those last few fights he was able to. <clears throat> sorry. Or was it the last few fights he was able to punch his way out of this? And then, like, at the beginning, seeing Keith Dragon's right hand in action. Seeing that one-two combination, punching the poor man through the Philly shell, and following up the right, breaking this man's neck, Epo traumatized. Once again, the left, blow in the right, another one drops. Keith Dragon has killed another man. One, two, another one bites the dust. It seemed like Keith Dragon could be the basics king. We, we thought David Eagle was excellent, the one-two basic, but, but Keith Dragon is a different breed. 
Is, is it possible that Keith Dragon actually hits hard on Takamori? Is this the first time where Takamori enters the fight and he is not the hardest puncher? This is interesting. Not including the fact what type of injury he could face. Not including the fact what type of shenanigans could make happen in the middle of the match. I will say I thought the match would happen like by now after Ipa watched the fight footage, but I'm not even mad at this chapter. This this chapter is is, is excellent. It's like it makes no sense. Like, how can someone right hand and one two be so dominant? How come his left hand be so accurate? Cause like every time, it's, it's, it's kind of like, well, not really. It reminds me a lot of Tommy Hitman Hearns. And there is a strong difference between Mishiba, Richard Bison, and Hitman Hearns, because Hitman Hearns always had like a paw and jab, and he would always use the jab, the paw and jab. To, to block at the opponent's sight, and then he would drop the right hand and knock him out. And Keith Dragon is not doing the exact same thing, but he is testing the waters and range with the jab. Then blow, breaks a poor man's neck. Blow, sends somebody straight down to the canvas. And I'm pretty sure that against the last guy, he hits that last guy with a cross counter, and blow, hit him up with a right, and he's down again. And so it's these three different people biting the dust. But there's one caveat. We still do not know how Keith Dragon got that draw. Who did he get a draw against? And it could be a possibility that a person he got a draw against is somebody that Takamori fought already. Could be Brian Hawk. No, 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 no. Not that because it's like Brian Hawk was dominant in his own in a junior middleweight. Could have had no, and then like with David Eagle and Richard Bison. They were pretty much just. Richard Bison was chasing David Eagle, and David uh, David Eagle wanted to see what was all the hype rap was with uh, Takamori. But I'm pretty sure we even, that 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 draws to only thing that concerns me now. Not about how strong he is; it's just purely about how did that draw actually happen? Could it be that this could be a build up to an actual Takamori rival, or is it just some guy with a draw? Then later on in the chapters, Yagi, the king of the underworld. The Japanese Demon King, Yagi, or should we call him by his true name, Yami-san, is out here destroying people, ending people's careers, getting thrown out of Manjong Palace, <laughs> getting thrown out into the streets for 20 years. For 20, now, nah, my God, for 20 years been banished to lurk in the shadows of the grand stages but still reign as the king of the underworld that's who we're sending yaki the japanese demon king the japanese beast of darkness you thought guts had problems but it's been a long time since yaki yami's son's blood has boiled like this because we do have hope and it's funny how he just he flips his hair back and he says my god he's a different animal and just like he put on a funeral suit, and I'm pretty sure this is a common occurrence because I might be sending somebody to an early grave. Is this? Are you serious? And I'm just mark, yeah. I I didn't know the chapter would turn out like this. I didn't I didn't know the chapter would turn out like this. But I'm pretty sure like one of these two new characters is a real person. Now here's the thing. I didn't make that video about Daisuke wannabe and how you could come up to be a current, uh, new character like maybe this year or next year and that's not him and what I say it's not him is if you go if George could actually incorporate Daisuke Wannabe's actual facial features and hairstyle that's not the hairstyle so it doesn't none of those two are him for those who didn't see the video but I swear like these two characters look like, like they're supposed to be uh, supposed to be drawn as real people especially the guy on the right especially Mukari, uh, no, no, Murabi Kami. You know, Murai Kami. Yeah, Murai Kami. He looks like the realest person out of the two of them, but it's just my god. Yeah. And he's just like, why is Keith Dragon so fucking tall? And plus, why is that one shot he looked like he's a NASCAR driver? <laughs> in, in that tracksuit of his. And just like, I don't understand. How is he tiring? I don't understand, like, he's six foot. But my god. He's just like that. The, the Takamura always tire over it, tire over people like this. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't understand that. Uh, 
Corey Dunn was just like, you know, Takamura is a giant for the Japanese standards, but my god, Keith Dragon is damn masses. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And it's funny because, like, I doubt they uh, try to treat for it. Yami sign or anything like that. So it just, just so happened. The man sits down on the right side of the table and he's already fucking won. My God. As Yagi looks unconcerned next to these two amateurs. Oh, master, we've gotten better since then. S shut up and sit down. I'm a king with over 20 years of experience. You guys, you two guys are just going to be the backup. This is between Yami-san and the Manhattan Demon King. But I hope you guys enjoyed the chapter, the chapter review, and my thoughts on it. And I remember when I first saw this chapter, when Key Dragon made that face at the end, sorry, looks like I win. I was just like, who did you look like? You look like Brian Hawk or somebody. I, think, I can't remember exactly who Key Dragon looks like in this one panel. But he looks like an absolute beast with this pompadour, the long hair, in the tracksuit, and he's an actual real deal beast. He's a savage. But uh, I don't have any predictions on the next chapter. It can go either way. I, I'm, like I do with these Hydrogen Epo chapters, I'm just along for the ride. So here's Big Boomer Shock with Kill. I know you got thoughts and opinions about the chapter because this, this is ridiculous. And do you believe that we should get a full backstory on Yami-san? Cause like, there's no way it's just, you know what? There's no way in all show in fishing and Mao Jong, this man's been thrown out and everything. Been banned from every lake or pond. Been banned from every Mao Jong. And he's like, if he was that dominant in Mao Jong, did he also get that same t that same ban doing like his fishing career throughout the entirety of the country in 20 years? Like seriously, who is this man? Like so who is Yagi truly? Like we need a full backstory on this animal. Cause there is no way this man is a full, full blown savage like this. He's a different breed. He's a different animal entirely. Cause we have Shinoda's backstory, the coach's backstory, Takamura's backstory. Yeah, we have most of the later half of Takamura's backstory. We don't know what Takamura's family dynamic, what his father or mother is. So that's the only thing I'm missing. And with Kimura and Ayoki, it just we might get some extra things with uh, uh, Kimura, but I doubt Kimura have any other siblings. I doubt that. So. Unless you have like a cousin or something, but besides that, just yeah, yeah. I want a full backstory on Yagi, and and, and that's what I want. But be booming shock with Kim. What are your thoughts about Yami Sun, the Undercrown Beast? What do you think about the Manhattan Demon King already coming out with with the heavy fist and, and just already coming out dominant? And uh, what do you think that one draw truly means? Why does Key Dragon have this one draw if his right hand is that powerful? Who knows? The big boom and shockwave king and uh peace.